Okay, good morning. Thank you for joining me. We are going to talk about thyme, um, essential oil today. And the three words that Lord Jacobs puts with thyme is resolving, powerful, and expelling. And as we talk through then um, some of the uses and some of the benefits, then you'll see why she names it as that. Um, thyme has quite a history that is um, pretty fascinating. Gail isn't on, so I have to write down your names so that you're on, so I'd be sure and send you the handouts. Um, so time is thought to impact courage to its bearer. Time was given to knights and warriors before they went into battle by ladies of the Middle Ages. During this same period, time was often placed beneath pillows to help promote a peaceful sleep and to ward off nightmares. Um, the ancient Greeks used thyme in their baths and burned it as an incense in their temples, while the Egyptians used it in their traditional ceremonies. Thyme oil is one of the strongest antioxidants known. It has been used as a medicinal herb since ancient times. Um, in an Egyptian medical text that dates back to 1550, um, 1550 BC, it records the healing values of thyme. The ancient Egyptians used thyme as an embalming agent because it could kill off bacteria and fungus. For centuries, thyme has been used across nations and cultures for incense in holy temples and warding off nightmares. I thought I took out the duplicates, but it must be important to know that thyme will ward off nightmares if I've told you twice. Um, during the Roman era, it was consumed to prevent poisoning and put in baths to stop the effects of poisoning once it already happened. In the days before refrigeration and food safety laws, um, including it in recipes gave you at least some protect protection against spoiled meat and foodborne illness. Prior to modern antibiotics coming on the scene, thyme oil was used to medicate bandages. Um, and that's an interesting you know, idea to just put a drop on a bandage before you put it over a sore. Um, but also remember to use your correct X because that, that's great. Um, thyme, the plant, um, is a small perennial plant. It's made up of many woody stems that are covered with tiny hairs. And you can sort of see the tiny hairs in this picture. Um, the leaves of the thyme plant are ovate and are slightly rolled at the edge. Um, they have hairy undersides. Tiny flowers that bloom from the plant are bluish purple to pink in color. They also have fruits that grow in the form of four tiny seed-like nuts. So doTERRA gets their is doTERRA gets their thyme essential oil from Kenya, and it's steam distilled from the leaf of the, the thyme plants. So thyme is cultivated in hot, sunny location with well-drained soil. It tolerates drought well, and it can even endure deep freezes, which um, Laura Jacobs talks a lot about. Um, if you look at how plants grow and where plants grow, that it will tell you some of the benefits that it can bring to us. So if you think about it, if it, it tolerates drought, it can be in a hot, sunny location, and it can endure freezing. That kind of says it can help us endure all sorts of circumstances that we've got. Um, there are over 300 varieties of thyme with different chemotypes. Although they all look the same, the chemical composition is different along with the corresponding health benefits. Um, the chief constituents of thyme essential oil, now get ready for a whole bunch of words that you'll recognize one or two. The, Chief constitu constituents of thyme essential oil include alpha thujone, alpha pinene, camphene, beta pinene, paracymine, alpha terpene, linalool, borneol, beta caryophylline, thymol, and carvacrol. Are you impressed I could say all those things? I am. So it is spicy and warm that's powerful and, and penetrating. The principal comp component of the essential oil is thymol, um, which gives it its antiseptic properties. It 
is effective in making germs and infections um, in your mouth feel unwanted and it will get rid of um, fungi and it's lots of lots of times it's added to um, commercial hand sanitizers and antifungal creams. Um, thymol, the most active ingredient is used in Listerine mouthwash and Vicks Vapo Rub because of its antibacterial and antifungal properties. The fact that these classic, although not very natural products choose to use thymol as a key ingredient speaks to the undeniable medicinal benefits of this versatile herb. So the other main constituent that it has is Carvacrol. And it has, um, and that's a bacteria fighter. And it has a variety of flavonoids, which increase the herbs antioxidant capacity. So um, time is the oil of releasing and forgiving. Time is one of the most powerful cleansers of the emotional body and assists in addressing trapped feelings which have been buried for a long time. It reaches deep within the body and soul searching for unresolved negativity. It is particularly helpful in treating the toxic emotions of hate, rage, anger, and resentment which cause the heart to close. So many times we have, our subconscious is such a great percentage of our brain and of our body that it makes it really hard to deal with things because it is subconscious. It's not something that we're really aware of. It's, it's our subconscious. So having different oils, that's one of the things about the oils, and there are lots of them that, that help with this, is um, it can help us realize and bring out and get rid of, that's the main thing, is get rid of some of these trapped feelings and some of the unresolved negativity and the hard feelings. So time empties the soul of all negativity, leaving the heart wide open. In this state of openness, individuals begin to feel tolerance and patience for others. Couldn't that be used a lot today? Um, as the heart opens more and more, it's able to receive love and offer forgiveness. Time teaches that it's time to let go and move forward. As individuals forgive, they free themselves from emotional bondage. Um, time transform, transforms hate and anger into love and forgiveness. So if you're feeling unforgiving, angry, raging, hateful, bitter, resentful, emotional bondage, those are all things that I want to feel less of. So start using time. And we're, we'll talk about a lot of different ways to use it. If you want to feel more forgiving, tolerant, patient, open-hearted, understanding and have an emotional release, then time is one of the things you want to use. So the top properties are it's an analgesic, a mucolytic to help get you rid of mucus, a stimulant, an antioxidant, anti-rheumatic, antiviral, antiseptic, antibacterial, antifungal, antimicrobial. It's a firmifuge and that is, it will kill intestinal, it will kill unwanted guests in your intestine um, and an expectorant. So lots of great properties that, it, that it's got that we can, we can use. And look at that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven anti things. Um, so it's getting up there with its, its effectiveness getting rid of the bad guys in our body. So some of the primary benefits are, it has really high and strong antioxidant qualities when it's consumed, antioxidant qualities when consumed internally. You can take it internally to support a healthy immune system. It naturally repels insects. It has a stimulating aroma. It is cleansing, it has a cleansing and purifying effect um, for the skin. So let's talk about some of the health benefits of thyme. Um, it is um, effective when you're trying to deal, it's very helpful in when you're dealing with bacteria and infections. It is one of the strongest natural antimicrobials 
and can um, support you in getting rid of unwanted guests on your skin and within the body. It inhibits bacterial growth, which means that it is able to support you in fighting intestinal infections, bacterial infections in the genitals and urethra, bacteria that builds up in the respiratory system and heals cuts or wounds that are exposed to harmful bacteria. So um, a 2011 uh, study, thanks. Um, a 2011 study was conducted by university in Poland, um, testing time's response to 120 different strains of bacteria. And it showed that it was, had really strong antibacterial uh, benefits. But it even demonstrated a good efficacy against antibiotic resistant strains. So, and we're getting those more and more um, in our world. So that's an important, put that little tidbit in the back of your brain, that time is really good for that. It's also a serious weapon against sore throats. Carvacrol is the main reason why it is a great essential oil for um, sore throat relief. So you can add it into teas, you can add it into warm water. You could, I don't think I would do this, but you could probably add it into your hot chocolate if you wanted. Um, another thing it will do is treats respiratory conditions. It um, is supportive of draining congestion and um, making unwanted gas in your chest and throat feel, uh, feel unwelcome. And so it will help you um, make them not want to stay along around with you. Um, so it can be supportive of if you're dealing with even something as simple as a common cold, then time can be supportive of that. It uh, protects the skin from harmful bacterial and fungal infections. It works as a home remedy when you have um, facial um, blemishes. Uh, sometimes it's really hard for me to, to think of the right words to be compliant, but I'm trying. Um, when you have things that um, you run your hand against um, a piece of paper and your hand hurts a lot, it can be helpful with anything like that it um, can help you even when you've um, gotten a burn. It will be supportive if you've done that. Um, thymol, is, thymol, I think is how you um, pronounce it, is an active um, component. We've talked about that. And it's used as a dental varnish that protects the teeth from decay, decay and also in mouthwashes and toothpaste. It is effective in the fight against germs and infections in the mouth and protects the teeth from plaque and decay. I didn't think to look, but with what this is saying, it wouldn't surprise me if it's in the on guard toothpaste, but I haven't looked. Um, maybe I'll remember to look afterwards. When you go and you have a blood test, then they check a lot of different things. And there are certain things that are, they'll give you high levels and low levels of a certain thing. Um, the thyme essential oil is helping you, is effective in helping you um, deal with those things. It is, um, it's good in increasing the good things in that report and decreasing the bad things. And I loved um, when I read this, because I had not thought about this and I have concerns in that area. So I need to do it. Another, um, benefit, health benefit is it can boost your mood. Carvacrol is a brain active molecule that clearly influences brain activity through the modulation of neurotransmitters. Um, if you regularly um, ingest it on, on a regular basis, it shows, it has been seen that it will help um, help support um, feelings of well-being. Time is 
a great bug repellent. It keeps away pests like mosquitoes, fleas, lice, and bed bugs, and parasites that feed on the body. So it also um, repels moss and beetles, so your closet and kitchens are safe. Um, if you didn't get to the thyme oil quick enough, it also treats their bites and stings. Um, you can, and I think I say this again later, but with bug repellent, if you're having bugs in your house, put some drops on cotton balls and put them the places where you're seeing bugs that you don't want to see bugs. Um, thyme is also a vermifuge, so it kills intestinal guests that are definitely unwanted and that can be dangerous. You can um, use it to in support of your fight against um, roundworms, tapeworms, hookworms, and maggots that grow in open sores. Yeah, but so aren't we glad we've got a, um, a resource to deal with that. So you can take it in a capsule, you can inhale it, or you can apply it highly diluted to affected areas. If, especially if it's to a sower or something that's open, make sure that you really super, super, super dilute it um, so that you won't have the discomfort. It is very, it's a stimulant, so it is very supportive of healthy circulation. Blocked circulation leads to conditions like arthritis and stroke. Um, this powerful oil is able to relax the arteries and veins, reducing the stress on heart and blood pressure. So it can be used when you need to level out um, your blood flow and your circulation and different things. Um, it balances um, hormones. It improves progesterone production and both men and a lot of women are low in progesterone. So um, this, I think I'm gonna have to look some more into. It says it's a natural remedy to relieve menopausal symptoms, including mood swings, hot flashes, and insomnia. Um, I have two of those things. If I went to bed earlier and was in bed for a longer time, I might have insomnia too, but ah, it's so late when I go to bed that I'm just exhausted and I generally fall asleep. Um, <coughs> it is also a, um, effective in helping you deal with fibroids. Um, so now there, I want to, well, a couple of other things that health benefits that it will, and then I'm going to give you specific suggestions how to use it. Um, it is supportive of not having gas in your stomach and your intestines. It is great um, in helping you remove toxins, salts, and excess water from your body. It boosts your memory and increases constant concentration. It reduces cellulite. It is supportive um, if you do not like the hair loss that you are experiencing. And it can be supportive in increasing and improving your vision. So some of the ways, add two drops to veggie capsules and take during winter time to support a healthy immune system. Use one to two drops in meat and entree dishes to add a fresh herbal flavor. Um, dilute with the carry oil and apply to target air, targeted areas on the skin to promote healthy looking skin. To ease fatigue, add two drops of thyme oil to warm bath water, a diffuser, body lotion, or just inhale it. To relieve menstrual cramps, rub two drops of thyme oil with equal parts carrier oil on your abdomen. To use as a mouthwash, I can talk, Add two drops of thyme oil to water and gargle. To open block nasal passages, inhale two drops of thyme oil or add it to hot water for steam inhalation. One of the things with that earlier in the year, then I just was being stuffy all the time. And a lot of it was seasonal discomfort. It wasn't um, the dreaded virus going around. It was just, I, I was just kind of sneezing and, and coughing and stuff all the time, but it's just, it happens every year. Um, and so I started putting in my um, Dawn humidifier, I would put in um, Serenity to help me sleep, but then I was adding 
breathe eucalyptus and thyme. Um, and I noticed a huge difference in how I felt. And I probably put those in for six to eight weeks that I put them. In. And now I still put some of those in, but I'm not putting all of them in. Um, but time is very helpful. Sometimes we get something that is really, really ugly and annoying on our toes. And you can add five drops of thyme oil to a warm foot bath, and that will help you in your struggles with that. Um, if you're feeling mentally lethargic in the middle of the day, add thyme essential oil to your favorite daytime diffuser blend to get your mental wheels turning. Thyme has a stimulating aroma, and adding it to your favorite midday diffuser blend will promote a sense of alertness. I love the way they put this. Spring clean your skin with thyme essential oil. Isn't that a good way to think about it? Um, because thyme essential oil has a cleansing and purifying effect on the skin, it's ideal for oil for skin care. Um, you can dilute one to two drops of thyme essential oil with fractionated coconut oil and apply the solution to targeted areas on the skin. Um, so taken internally, thyme oil supports a healthy immune system. So you can add a drop or two of thyme oil to a veggie capsule and take it internally. Like I said before, you can add it to a tea, you can add it to warm water, um, you can add it, if you're doing any Italian dishes, you can add a drop there. Um, start small, you can always add more things, but, but start small. Um, don't let those insects bug you. Just give them a little bit of time. Thyme essential oil contains chemical properties that naturally repel insects. To keep those bugs away, plus place a couple of drops of thyme oil on a cotton ball and put it in corners where those little creepy crawlies are sure to hide. When gardening, place thyme essential oil diluted with fractionated coconut oil on your wrist and neck to keep the insects away. I add on my um, beefed up Terra Shield spray that I've talked about it before. Time is one of the things that I add to that to make it more potent. Um, it's great for enhancing your favorite savory meals and can be used to replace dried thyme. Um, use one to two drops of thyme essential oil in meat and entree dishes. And it's also helpful for cleaning surfaces in your kitchen um, if you want. It can help remove dirt, grime, and unpleasant odor, odors, all without the use of helpful, harmful, all without the use of harmful, not helpful, harmful chemicals. So thyme is one of the oils that has some precautions that you really need to pay attention to. It's got the usual ones with possible skin sensitivity, keep out of the reach of children, avoid contact with eyes, inner ear, space, and sensitive areas. It's got all the, those normal cautions, but if you struggle with um, epileptics and epileptic seizures or pregnancy or um, when you have high blood pressure, you should use extreme caution and possibly not use it. Definitely talk to your doctor about it. Um, do not take thyme oil if you have a bleeding disorder Time might slow blood clotting and taking time could increase your risk of bleeding. Um, because of this, you should also stop using time two weeks before a scheduled surgery. Time might also act like estrogen in the body. So if you have any condition that might be made worse by exposure to estrogen, don't use time. So there are some cautions that are worth really paying attention to with time. Um, thyme is found in DDR Prime, Forgive, and Terra Shield. I am going to send you, um, I'm going to send you a bunch of recipes. There's one for a homemade bug spray, um, rosemary mint shampoo that has, um, that you can add. 10 drops of time to this recipe that I, I'm going to send you, um, a hormone balance serum, and a link to a recipe for basil marinated roasted pepper and 
manchego sandwiches. And what you can do is substitute that, either substitute or add the thyme in addition or instead of the basil in those. So thyme is a great oil that we haven't, um, I have talked about it once before, but when we were doing in-home classes, so it's been two and a half years um, since I told you anything about thyme, but it's a really useful oil to have. So I hope that you will um, consider it. It's, it's just great to have on hand for when, when you need it. 